What's going on, Foodie Family? Shemay, man, Dame Drops. Loving the way you guys have been supporting the mom and pops. I'm about to go to the ultimate mom and pop food court right here in Connecticut. I don't know, it's probably like between 20 to 30 mom and pop food establishments on the inside. We're going to eat at a few, show them some love, see what these price points are hitting on. But at the end of the day, it's all about supporting local businesses. I, Shemay, man, Dame Drops, Parkville Market. Let's go inside. <laughs> So my name is Don White. This I'm is Adam Pierce. Business partner Adam Pierce. And uh, we got a couple restaurants here at Parkville Market. We are currently operating the Meltdown Grill, and we also just reopened Snow and Dough down, down the way. So uh, Meltdown Grill, we're doing our very best to produce New England's best cheesesteak. We are crushing it. We're not doing it that way. Mm, tell them that. Tell them. They're, they're, they're don't, say, don't undersell yourself. You there we go. That. They uh, <laughs> we also have awesome smash burgers, curly fries, handheld melts. We do all kinds of stuff. All right, fam, up first. We have that smash melt. Now, I want you to think of a grilled cheese. Ooh, okay. That's a cheesy situation with smash burgers up off in the building. One time for the one time. That thing looks like it's about to be a buttery, flavorful little boo thing. And of course, you got the curly fries on deck, curled up near perfection, straight Arby style, family. You can't possibly go wrong with the curly fries, especially when they have a nice little crisp to them. But y'all let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'm just drinking hard. Hone in on that curly fry action right there, family. Is this what you love, or do you like those regular golden fries? Or do you like do you like the waffle fries? I mean, get at me. Let your boy know something. Mm -hmm. Waffle fries, a nice little potato bite on them. Mm. Golden, a very light crisp. So it wasn't like they were over fried. Definitely not underdone. Slap them, catch up on them things. And it's about to be real serious. Like I promise you that much. But I keep looking down and I see the fries. Don't get me wrong. Fries are definitely decent. Definitely decent. But the smash melt itself is what we came for. I'm going to feed you. I'm going to feed you lightly. I'm going to just hit you with that little bite of delight. Don't go too crazy. Don't go too hard. But you can see all of that meat action with the cheese laying low. And then again, you got that ketchup mayo combination going on. But we're going to talk about the crispiness. The crispiness on that toasted bread right there. This right here is going to be the ultimate game changer. This right here is a little bit of that buttery love. Now let me go ahead and get a bite of that buttery love. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Having a patty melt, that's one thing. Having a smash melt with all the flavors smashed together, that ground beef extra fresh, seasoned up just right, hellacheese.com, and then of course the house mayo ketchup combination, giving you that zang, that zest, that tang, that pop, that don't stop, that bite of delight on the get right for the night, that creeper in your sleeper. Mm. Mm -hmm. I have a few more spots to do, because this is a four part series, because there's so many restaurants and I want to make sure I cover everybody. I can't stop eating and I'm supposed to stop. I have to stop or I'm going to fill myself up. And we ain't going to get no further than this. This right here is a 10, my friend. The fries, I'm going to give them a three and a half. But the sandwich itself, the smash melt itself, here at Meltdown Grill. Stop playing with my emotions and get yourself a bite. All right, fam, just keep this thing going. Oh, I'm about to try to give me a minute because I'm still digesting while I'm talking to you. That was real heavy on me right there. I want to slide over to the sushi spot right next door. Koji to go. They got some KFC. Not Kentucky Fried Chicken. Koji Fried Chicken. Oh, really? All right, so when people come over here to Koji, what is it that they order the most? What must they have? Frying sushi. The frying maki. Okay. Parkville Market, Koji Roll, and the Princess Roll. They love it. They love it? Yes. And especially our... KFC, Koji Fried Chicken. Ooh, Woo and that, that, that's the one I got to order. I, I'm so curious yep, yep, about yep, it. Yep, 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 so it's yep. going to be amazing? Yes, yes. So how yep. long have you guys been here in the Parkville Market? Two months and two days. And how has it been? Has it been good? Yes, very good. We're doing very good here. Nice. We love it here. Is this your first restaurant or you have a, you had another one nah. somewhere else? We long time ago, he owned a bar in downtown Hartford. Mm -hmm. It's called Koji. And then we have a restaurant in Southington. 
Okay. And then we close it, we come here. You came here? Yes. And one of the best choices you made, huh? Yes, yes. So this is a, this is a we KFC. We KFC Koji Fried Chicken yes. at Parkville Market. And this is, the, this is the Parkville Market? Yeah, Parkville Market. Half shrimp, half chicken. Ooh. Ooh. Half shrimp, half chicken. Y'all see what it is right now. Coming from Koji, baby. Koji to go. Koji right. to go. Koji to go. You know what I'm saying? Oh my goodness. Y'all know I'm a chopstick professional, right? One stick necessary. That's all you need when it comes to a chopstick. Don't play me. This is that KFC, baby. Oh, okay. Ooh. No. Uh-uh. Why that meat sweet? Why that meat got a hint of sweetness to it? it must have been so Mmm. I ain't never had no sweet chicken that was regularly fried. And lightly fried too. Not even deep rooted on the fry. They must have fried it in like a sweet oil. What? No. Mm. Huh. I don't know what this pink dip is, but. My soft, succulent, divine, lightly crisp KFC chicken is getting dipped something proper. Ooh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Is that buffalo chicken? Mm -hmm. Little bites of delight taking to the next level of greatness. KFC is where it's at, baby. All right, y'all. Once again, Chopstick King. Chopstick King is going at it. Hold on, come in. Come here. Oh, come on, man. The other one is sitting up over here. When you're the chopstick king, you get busy how you want to get busy, baby. Come on now. You see the shrimp and chicken in there? Yeah, that shrimp and chicken is where it's at. Mm. Mm hmm. I don't never really expect a lot of meat when I have a sushi roll. So you get like a little bit of meat. The rice is nice. Get a little sweetness with the sauce. Nice little light crisp action from the wrap. I'm in love with that Parkville Market sushi game and the KFC chicken. Little chicken poppers. And that's all you need at the end of the day. And that right there alone, just for the KFC, is $11. But she did give me the Parkville Market sushi. And just to be transparent with y'all, both are five all day in the play. Now we need some dessert from Snow and Dough. And then over at Snow and Dough, um, we're doing ice cream, we're doing New Orleans style snowballs, fried dough, churros, churro ice cream sundaes, fried Oreo ice cream sundaes. We got just about everything a sweet lover can dream of down there. And if we don't have it, we'll add it. We just added fried peanut butter and jelly to the menu yesterday. Oh, I'm on that. I'm on that. We'll fry it. I need that. So, you know, <laughs> so um, we're just doing our best to. Uh, Stay afloat, today's market, and we're having a good time doing it. All right, fam, over here at Snow and Zoe, I'm gonna let the fried peanut butter and jelly actually cool off a little bit. That's fresh out the fryer. Let's get into this churro sundae. Why the churro sundae hit like that, though? With the churros, two of them joints, sitting on the side. You see that chocolate, that caramel drizzle, right? Whipped cream action, real heavy, and vanilla ice cream. Look, I do this for my foodie fam because I'm lactose. I am lactose intolerant, baby. I, I have no business getting busy, but I'm gonna get busy. Oh. Mm. Mm. Churl stick, heavily cinnamon up. Nice little bite. You have that whipped cream on there, a little bit of sweetness with that and the chocolate and the caramel, which is always a great combination when you're talking about churro to begin with. Fried heaven right here, soft on the interior. So, you know, cinnamon itself is just great for flavor. You're not getting no sweetness off no cinnamon. Mmm. We do get the sweetness off the sugar added. Oh, I wanna get I wanna get that down to the ice cream here. And yeah. Mmm. While a messy little boot thing. Ice cream is extremely creamy, nice and cold. Bold flavors that are coming through with the caramel, with the chocolate, whipped cream, fluffed up with love, and then the churro stick itself. This right here is a nice little dessert treat for your face. Now let me go ahead and cleanse the palate 
before we get into the fried peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Look at them, layers on layers of powdered sugar. Let me go ahead and tap that. Not to make too much of a mess on myself. Mm hmm Okay. That's that peanut butter and jelly over there just straight having its own conversation with you. Again, if you love peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, fried peanut butter and jelly with that powdered sugar, with that crisp on the fried exterior, right? I mean, you, you just, you don't lose. There's no possible way to lose, but let me go ahead and open up that bottom lip a little bit. Oh, there it is. There it is. Come on, man. This is taking me back to my childhood and then adding my adulthood in because it's fried, right? This right here, we're giving this one a four out the door. We're gonna give that churro Sunday. We're giving this one a five, all right? Your boy is getting worn down. I'm gonna try to squeeze in one more location for you guys. And then we definitely stopping there. All right, fam, my last stop at Parkville Market 4. Part one is over here at the Porky Pig, all about some Southern barbecue cuisine. We're gonna find out what this game is all about over here. Hi, my name's Jonathan. Uh, I'm the owner of the Portly Pig uh, New England style barbecue. We're here at Parkville Market. And uh, we got a couple of things here. Uh, I got some pork belly burn ends and a loaded barbecue bowl, soon to be famous bowl, we call it. Uh oh, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna go ahead and open that thing oh, up. Oh, yeah, yeah, feel free. You, you, what you're, what you're telling me, this, this is the new new? I, I didn't put the sauce on it just so you can see the meat. Ah, that's yeah, what I like, go. yeah. That's got brisket on there for you. So that's oh, man. roasted garlic, mashed potatoes, house made smoked gravy, roasted corn, cheddar cheese, choice of meat, in this case brisket, and we got some of our house sauce for it. Okay. That's, that's oh. sweet right there. Is that sweet stuff right there? Sweet brown. That's sweet what you're stuff. saying? Sweet stuff. It's the way to go. <laughs> this right here is a game changer for the people? Yes, it is, man. We only do the best up in here. Ah, that's what I like to hear, baby. When individuals come here and they get all excited because everybody's excited about food, what is the one meal that everybody has to have? Uh, here? Yes. Um, it's, it's probably an even toss-up between three things. We got our brisket cheesesteak sandwich. Smoked peppers and onions, uh, cubed brisket caramelized in garlic oil with American cheese and our smokehouse aioli. We got our pork rib mac and cheese, which everybody loves. This is house made cheese sauce. That garlic toasted cornbread crumbs and our honey chipotle mm. rub on top. Fantastic. And then, uh, honestly, the, the pork belly burn ends or the barbecue bowl. All right. <laughs> I can't wait to get into it, bro. I'm going to grab it up and I'm going to do what I do. All right, enjoy. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you, sir. All right. All right, fam. Your boy's at the end of the struggle here at Parkville Market. And when I say the struggle, I'm just talking about I done ate so much in the last past three food joints and then people always want to bring out a little more because they know what your boy does is I eat some stuff off camera. And I'm looking right now between what I actually ordered, which of course was the burnt ends. And them things are looking saucy, family. Them burnt ends didn't even come to play. Look at them joints right there. They look burnt and sauced up real heavily. And it almost looks like a sweet and smoky sauce without even taking a bite. We have two little joints of butter to go with the cornbread. Did that cornbread have a nice push? Okay, cake-like, not as soft as cake. But I'm hoping it's not dense cornbread. I like mine to be like a, a butter loaf. I don't know how you guys like your cornbread, but I love my joint to be a sweet butter loaf like cornbread. And then of course their soon to be famous barbecue bowl up off over here with the sauce. But before we hit the sauce, we wanna do that one as is. And my fam, I know how y'all get down, baby. I already know how you move in these streets. You let me know ahead of time if it looks good, if it's something that you want to run to Connecticut for. Let's get into it. As always, I'll break you off a little something first. Let me know what you're thinking. Like, Dame, I need that a Dame. They didn't do it right. Because y'all always keep it 100 in these comment sections. I don't love pork belly burnt ends. Pork belly is good. When it's smoked up, when it's tender, when it's succulent. This particular pork belly may have been cooked just a little bit longer than normal. It does have a lot of chew to it. It has a decent flavor. It's enough for a two and a half out of five. I am, I'm not even gonna sit here and hold you on that one, family. 
Um, I want to get this cornbread next. We'll grab a little piece of this cornbread right here and see what this joint hitting on. This is the type of cornbread that gets stuck to the roof of your mouth. <clears throat> More dense than anything. Not really cake-like. It does have a little sweetness to it. But again, I'm gonna give it a two on the cornbread. Too much chew. Far, far too much chew. Pork belly, far too much chew. Cornbread, far too much chew. But I'm still looking forward to the barbecue bowl on this one. The corn, potatoes, and burns on this one. Just okay. Good enough for a three. And that's without the sauce. For me, when it comes to a lot of foods, if you can go ahead and make really good food and the consistency is right on, spot on, and you don't need sauce, that's when the food is amazing. And this is just this is alright at the Porky Pig here at Parkville Market. Alright fam, so we're wrapping up day one of the Parkville Market. Oh man, day one, part one. That was some good Ian. Some things can get a little bit of work, but we're really here just to showcase the mom and pops out there struggling every day to make it happen for every last one of you. So make sure you slide down to 1400 Park Street, Hartford, Connecticut, get up on some of this food at the Parkville Market. I'll see you next Friday for part two.